guys, thank you for coming for part two of my empty items video. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this, number one. I like watching these. Not too many people do them anymore, which is really sad. Um, I like watching them because it gives you a sense of what people are using, what they like, what they don't like. So if you make one of these videos, let me know. I want to watch. Um, cause it's one of my favorites to watch. I think I'm like maybe the only one. I think my one friend, um, Couponing Girl, I think she still does it once in a great while. But she's been doing Timu hauls, which I'm obsessed with. I love watching those hauls. I haven't purchased anything from Timu, but I do love watching those hauls. So next, we will do this. So this is a mineral bath salt. This is a German import. I get this from that small flower website you've seen me haul. And it's from, um, it's a mineral bath salt. For back comfort, it's called with made with devil's claw. So devil's claw is a type of plant. Their high content of pure and natural thermal spring salt is obtained. Oh, they're talking about the company uh, Nib. Uh, um, natural thermal spring is obtained from pure natural brine in Europe's only remaining open pan salt works, the Celine Lusenhall. The brine is free of chemical additives and environmental influences and contains natural trace elements. Um, the NIP mineral back, bath salt for back comfort contains valuable devil's claw extract and natural essential kajabu oil. Together with the effect of warm water, it may warm muscles and help soothe and can release tension in the back and neck areas. I did really like this. Um, it has no paraffin or silicone mineral oils, no preservatives. It's not animal tested. Um, it's a really good product. I got the small one to test it out because I have never used any products with devil's claw in it. I know it's popular in Germany, um, but I have never used it. So I wasn't sure if I would be allergic to it. And I wasn't, as you can see, it is a vegan product as well for those of you who are vegan. Um, but they do sell this in a like a container and I will next time I place my order with a uh, small flower I will be getting the big one because I really enjoyed that and it definitely did soothe my muscles I definitely needed it next item that we used up is my another twisted peppermint this will probably be the other thing that I uh, I don't know these soaps are so expensive from Bath and Body Works do I love them I do I do love these however um, like I think they're five, six for 25 or something like that. So five, 10, so they're like four ish a piece, but they're kind of small, you know? Um, I just bought for that for less than that. No, for that, almost that same price. I bought two huge refills and a soap, like a regular size soap that has more in it than this at, um, I think it was Marshall's I got it from because they don't make refills yet. If they made a refill in the deep cleansing and did it in this scent, I would be, I'd buy like 10 of them. But um, I don't know. I go back and forth because I feel like this is wasteful. These things, I don't have a recycling plant near me, so I can't really recycle these. How many times can you reuse the plastic? And it bothers me. So I try to get the refills. Now, I mean, it still comes in plastic. Um, I've been, I haven't found one because the ones that they have, their refills are in cardboard. I'm looking for one. Um, I need to find one in the stores that's, that's in cardboard. I should go online, actually. I should check Amazon when I get off of here um, because I just, I don't like wasting all this. This is, they're expensive. There's not a lot of product in here and I feel like I'm just wasting my money at this point. Does it smell great? It absolutely does. So maybe I'll treat once in a while, but I just feel like if there's so many more negatives to buying this than there are pros, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm overthinking it. It's just soap. But um, I'm getting sick and tired of having to buy the whole container instead of refilling them. I know that it come, they have the refills in the foam. I don't like the foam because it dries my hands out. I already have eczema. And it's just the foam ones, don't they don't really work well for me. Next, I have this facial wash. This is the Neutrogena Oil Balancing Facial Wash with Lime and Aloe Vera uh, for oily skin, because I do have combination skin, and I've been struggling with my skin lately. Um, I think it's hormones, to be honest with you. Anyway, I got this from Marshalls. I haven't seen this in any other store, and it's really nice. I love lime. This is just 
it's really nice. I go back and forth, but depending on what my skin needs, I do change up my cleansers and my moisturizers. If you want me to do like a nighttime routine or just my face routine, um, let me know. But yeah, so um, I did use this one up. I think I have one more left and I've been hanging on to that one because I can't find this product anymore. But I can't hang on to it forever. But this is a, um, this is a really good product. I, I really highly recommend that one to you. Next, this is another product that I buy from Small Flower. I also do find it when I go um, to New York, when I visit Woodstock, there is um, a few soap shops there that will that do carry this product. And this one I like, but there, the kelp one I do like more. So this is new to this particular collection. Now this company is called, Swedish, I think that's the name of it. Is that the Swedish Dream? Is that the name of the company? Yeah, Swedish Dream. The original sea salt soap with a twist of zesty lemon. Sail into brighter days with incredibly refreshing exfoliation and a boost of the perfect summer citrus. Swedish Dream Limited Edition. This The limited edition sea salt summer lemon soap made with love in small batches. So I thought this was new. Apparently it's just a limited edition scent. Um, it's a, these bars are really nicely sized. They last quite a bit. This one does have huge chunks of sea salt. So even though I love this, I'm currently using a more moisturizing one. This one's on, on the side because it does deep clean. It does really good at getting rid of dead skin cells. However, especially during this weather right now, it's very drying. Um, at least on my skin it is, but it smells beautiful. It works really well as a cleanser. I do prefer their sea kelp one better, but this one is so nice. I do have another one, um, but I might give that to a friend that doesn't have as sensitive skin as mine. Like I said, I do love it, but it does dry me out. It's, it's really nice though. If your skin isn't as sensitive, I think you'll enjoy it. Next is, so I bought this in, um, Woodstock some time ago and I finally used it up. So this is an Essential essences of the old and new world. This was in rain goddess Hawaiian plumera and these were 16 long-lasting stick incense So that's the packaging. Sometimes they come with a little matching oil um, I don't use the oils because they tend to be a dollar more The ones with the oils, so I don't buy those ones um, I just get the ones without the oil because I don't use it. It's a waste. If somebody else wants to use the oil, you know, let them have it. It'd be a waste for me. But um, yeah, this one was really nice. I go back and forth with this company because I don't like all their scents, but they do make a good quality product. So um, just because I'm not a fan of some of their scents doesn't mean anything, but they do make a good quality incense. And the packaging's really cute. This is one of my favorites, and I'll be honest with you, I love this company. However, I'm getting away from using cones. I, I'm just not into it anymore. I'm all, I, I use the sticks more. Um, that doesn't mean I won't go back to it, because I do have some beautiful cone holders that I'm not going to part with. They're made out of this beautiful pewter. But this is the Triloka, and this was an assortment. It had lemongrass, royal sandalwood, Makaresh, China Rain, which is my favorite from this one, tangerine scream vanilla sandalwood and vanilla rose so what i do like about these what i like about troloka in general some of the other incense that i burn whether it's in cone or stick form you use it and you only smell it while it's being burned whereas with troloka if i burn one of these my house smells so beautiful for like hours like almost the rest of the day kind of thing it's just fantastic um, I feel like the cone isn't as last longing, but the Triloka sticks. I burn one of those. Everything smells wonderful for hours. Um, I do have a hard time finding them. They are very expensive when I do find them online. So I typically, like when I make my trip to Woodstock, I'll kind of like stock up on them. Um, because when I go to their actual website, they are mainly for, for shops. They're not for, you know, personal like purchases, like just like regular merchants, I guess. They're, they're looking to do wholesale. But uh, fantastic company. Love these. They're all handmade and they're really good quality. 
this. I, I can't say enough. This is one of my absolute, absolute favorites uh, brands. It's the Triloka. Really good. All right, guys, we're at that time again, and we're going to do a part three because there's enough for a part three. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.